or welcome back to Monday Musing. This video is put out on a Monday, hopefully to encourage and just to support you in your faith, in your life journey. And I hope it does that. Well, today I've been thinking about life rafts. Now, I don't often, in fact, I've never been stuck at sea in a life raft. But if I was, I would be grateful of my raft. I would be grateful of my life raft because with the title Life Raft, I know that that's in intention. That if I'm in it, I'm safe. My life is supported. My life's uh, protected in some way. If I was stuck in a, in a wild ocean, uh, lost at sea, hopefully with some provisions, hopefully with some uh, friends around me, hopefully with uh, a light whistle, uh, a radio, mobile phone. Yeah, you know the sort of thing. But the main thing is, being in the life raft is a place of safety. Now, I was reflecting on those of you who may be feeling at this time really like everything's going wrong. We know this last year has been a real challenge and for some people, everything's fallen apart. Maybe work, maybe relationships, maybe finances, maybe some of your hopes and dreams for the future, certainly for this year, has changed. And you're starting to question everything, as we all do, but probably more so now than ever, because potentially lots of things haven't worked out. And if you're finding you're in that place today where everything seems to have fallen apart and you're starting to think, does God even care about me? Am I even worth it? Because everything seems to be falling apart around me and other people seem to be able to cope in this lockdown, in this situation, yet I can't. I've got my uh, particular issues that no one else has and you can start feeling very isolated, like you're lost at sea. But it's important to remember that though you might feel lost at sea, you are still in a life raft and you're thinking, how can I be in a life raft? Not in a real life raft, but it's like you are. I'm reminding you, you are in a life raft and it's the life raft that God puts you in, keeps you in, keeps you safe in. But you can forget you're even in it, but you are. You are because God promises us to look after his children, to care and protect us. And he reminds us that in Jeremiah chapter 29, he says, for I know, God says, for I know, these aren't my words, these are God's words. Jeremiah 29, for I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future, plans to prosper you and not harm you. And yet, potentially around, this, around you at the moment, you may feel like that's not the case. Things are going really bad. Things are really problem, problematic. Things around you do feel like they're harming you. All I would say is, hold on to the fact that God promises to keep us in his life raft, to keep us in the eye of the storm. He keeps us safe. He promises to protect us, just like the life raft protects these two guys or two people in the life raft from the storm that's around them. He doesn't stop the storm happening. The storm's happening anyway, and the storms of life will come. They come for all of us in different forms. But God promises us, the picture is, to keep us safe in his life raft, to keep us safe, protected from the storm. Yes, we'll be tossed about like we are in the life raft, seasick at times. It must have been horrendous. I wouldn't want to be in one of those. But at times, life is horrendous. Life sends its challenges, its storms. But the important thing is to know and remind yourself, tell yourself, John, you're in God's life raft. You're protected. You're his child. You're safe. And you're the same. Whoever you are watching this, whether it's one of you or whether it's 15 of you, it doesn't matter who watches these videos. It's maybe it's just me. That's OK. But the important thing is to know if you're watching this, that you are protected by God's protection. And that's just awesome. God's endless protection. He says that he will give us a hope and a future. And that's a future, an eternal future that God promises to those that love him, that to those who call him, call him his father, call him his, their saviour. So I found this, which is the, uh, the toy helicopter that I guess comes down to rescue the two uh, or whoever's in the life raft. Now, to be honest, it's not a very lifelike impression of a proper helicopter. I'm sure if you're involved, as one of my mates, Dunks, has been in uh, air sea uh, rescues and helicopters, it doesn't, I don't think it would actually cope. I don't think the rotor's big enough and all the rest of it. But the 
principle is the helicopter comes to rescue the people in the life raft. The life raft is only just a temporary solution and God promises to rescue us ultimately. To, we're heading towards heaven, eternity with him. I don't think we'll go there in helicopter, but certainly he promises to rescue us eternally, just as he protects us now, like they're in the life raft. Now, you find this picture too bizarre or too um, hard to get your head around. That's okay. Um, it's just an illustration. and Some people find pictures helpful, others perhaps less so. Let me pray for you now that God would remind you that you are protected by him. Let me pray now. Lord, thank you for reminding us wherever we feel like, however challenging the times we're in, however violent the storms are, however tossed around we are like the life raft in a storm, help us remember today that we are protected by your, your loving arms. Your protection is eternal. Your protection says in those words that your plans for us are to prosper us and to keep us from harm. So Lord, help us remember that in the middle of a storm, that we are incredibly protected. Help us to believe that. Help us to understand it and press on because of it, coping with the storms that we face, particularly those that are challenging for us at this time. Lord, particularly we pray now for all those who are facing severe storms in their lives. Help them to know your protection, I pray. Amen. Well, I hope you find these videos helpful. I hope you find them encouraging, supportive in some way. That's the intention anyway. Bold claim as it is. And uh, if, you'd lead, if you'd like to get in touch or you want some uh, connection in terms of a, a text or an email uh, or if you'd like to know what we do here at WEP uh, to support people and uh, we'd love to help you in any way we can. Uh, but God bless from me, John, uh, and I hope to see you again for another Monday Musing next week. Bye-bye.